Your car guy here. Today we're going to try out another um, OBD2 scanner, code reader, and clearer. This is the Boscom iFix 430. And neat little handheld tool. What you get in the box is the tool. I'll take this out. And see, we get our cable. This is going to connect us to our OBD2 port. And we also have a power or sync cable. I can hook this up to a USB port. Um, or to a computer if I need to to update the software. So we're going to set this up by putting the cable on and then attaching it to a car and seeing what we get. You'll see bottom of it we do have a memory card slot and there's where we would connect the cable that goes to the USB cable. In the top of the tool we have the port where you will connect your diagnostics cable that's gonna to plug to the OBD2. Now that we're hooked up with via the OBD2 port on our vehicle and with the ignition on, we can go through the various things that we have. So we have diagnostics, which we can select via moving around and what highlights using our keypad here. So we're gonna to go to diagnostics first, hit the okay button, which gets us in here. Now I've got several options. I've got the American, European, Chinese, or Asian. This being a BMW, we go to the European. So now it's asking, what do I have? It's a BMW. I can scroll to that, load up. Automatic selection. It's gonna automatically search out the VIN number or I can manually select the vehicle that I've got. So an automatic selection, it's gonna try to read the ECM and determine the exact configuration of this vehicle. If it's unable to, you could either enter the VIN manually or you can go to the manual selection and select your vehicle. You'll see it's pretty quick in its communication with the ECU. It's unable to do that. So we're gonna to go to a manual selection and we're gonna say this is a three series E36. And it's going through all the variations in this particular case, it's an M3 with the auto. And it is a 1997. So we can select the drive, chassis, body, or service functions, or we can do a quick test. It's gonna run through Communicate with the ECMs and read all of the fault codes that are in the system. So you'll see right now, it's about 3% through the test, but we show three diagnostic trouble codes um, in the motor electronics. But it is running through all of the modules that are on the vehicle. And this is nice about this. This is not just an OBD2 only scanner. It will scan specific OE modules. So things like your cruise control module, your dash module, radio control module, body control module. It's going to scan for codes in all of those, not just in the OBD2 system. So our quick test completed. We see that we don't have any faults except for the three that are showing in the engine. So we're going to look at the service functions. And we'll just look at what chassis is. Digital motor electronics, transmission control, or a mobilizer adaption. So there are some options here to do some different things. Clear the adaptations or do a carbon adjustment. Let's go back. Transmission control. I can clear the adaptations on the transmission. And the adaptations learn how you drive. So after a service or something, I may need to clear the adaptations and let it relearn. A mobilizer adaptation. I don't know if this car will actually have that available in the car, but the tool has the ability. So it doesn't, it went back because the car doesn't have it. But you could probably do some work with your immobilizer here as well. Let's look at chassis. All right, wheel slip control systems or stability control or a tire pressure warning lamp. So we can both do our tire pressure and our uh, stability control or traction control. So that's pretty nice body, instrument cluster, or check light module. We can reset the service indicator with this tool. 
read out operating data. So that's something that'll tell us about the operation of that module. So some cool functions there in this. Well, let's go back to the home screen. Now I wanna go from the home screen here and just go check out the OBD2 system. And this would be your quick scan. And I also have a diagnostic trouble code library. So let's say I've got a code and I wanna know what it means. I can go to that library, look up the code, and it's gonna tell me what that means. Okay. So it's got the different uh, options there. It's gonna go through and look for the right CAN bus to uh, communicate on for the vehicle. Okay, so shows me the number of codes stored. I can read the trouble codes. Shows that we had a cylinder six misfire detected and an evaporative emission vent control code. So I can exit back out of those by hitting OK, and then I can clear that diagnostic trouble code. It wants to make sure that the ignition's on, the engine's off. Yes, I want to clear it. It cleared those codes. I can read the codes again, and you'll see there are no fault codes. So really simple work for OBD2. I can hit Escape. I can go to System Status or Emission readiness, I can read freeze, tame da freeze frame data. So that's when the code's set. What were the conditions that were happening at that time? There's O2 monitoring tests, an onboard monitoring test, component tests, uh, vehicle information. This vehicle doesn't have some of these component tests. This is an early OBD2 car. So system status or emissions readiness status. Quite a bit of options right here in a pretty small tool. Um, let's go back to the home screen. So I can function and select that. Transmission. No codes in the transmission, so nothing to worry about there. So if I wanna update this tool, I can do it two ways. I can either plug it in uh, to a computer to get it some uh, access to the internet, or I can do it via Wi-Fi. So if I do it via Wi-Fi, I would need to connect to a local Wi-Fi, and then I could update it. So I could do this with my home Wi-Fi. Right now I'm out in my shop. I don't know that it'll reach to here. So, uh, well, it does reach decently well, but I'm also picking up some of the neighbor's Wi-Fi systems. So I can do that there. Pretty cool tool, uh, in the settings. Here I can change my language, my units of measurement, whether or not I want it to beep. I can do a button test to test the buttons on the tool, the LCD test to test the screen, and a log of what I've done. So uh, if I wanted to maybe put this into a different language, I can pick my various languages here. And I don't speak any of those, so if I put it into one of those, I won't be able to do anything with this tool because I probably won't be able to figure out how to get it back out of it. <laughs> units of measurement, I can go from metric to standard imperial units or metric units. The beep, I can turn it on or off. I like the beep, just me. So in testing the uh, functions and ability of this little module, I wanted to go to a vehicle. So I'm in a Mercedes now that has a lot more modules and it's newer. So a lot of the options of this tool are gonna work better. So like, uh, for example, I'm into the stability control system now and there's a code that I was able to find so I can hit OK. I've read that code. Now I can clear that code. Hit yes. And that one failed, but it may be because this is a uh, 
fixed code or the code hasn't been resolved. But I'm able to read diagnostic trouble codes in multiple systems. And you'll see that that's uh, pretty cool. The selector module, transmission control module, engine module, brake control module. So you have a lot of options with this tool that's going to get you in down to the level of finding things that you might not find with just a standard OBD2 scanner. And you're going to be able to read uh, quite a bit of this. Read codes, clear codes, and um, really find out if everything's as good as it should be. So my car, because I'm talking to the brake control module, is now giving a warning. That's what you hear. So that's just a stored code, not an active code that it's showing. Once we exit out of here, the car stops beeping. But the car was beeping basically because we were in the brake systems computer and it's saying, hey, somebody's in my computer. You'll see that there's tire pressure monitoring system information, weight sensing system. Those are the weight sensors for your airbags. Um, the emergency tension retractors for the seatbelt. Sometimes you'll get a code that'll set and you won't be able to clear a light because of that. You'll be able to go in and clear those once those are uh, fixed. Headlight adjustment, overhead control panels, uh, signal acquisition modules, battery control module, trailer recognition. Uh, quite a bit that you can do with this. Steering column module, Parktronic, audio gateway, CD changer, mobile phone adapters, really a lot of stuff here that you're going to be able to look at on a wide variety of vehicles and diagnose that you wouldn't be able to do with a standard unit. So pretty cool uh, system. I like it. Um, and again, this is not a really expensive tool from Bosscom. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Um, and this is the iFix 435. And uh, I'm honestly pretty impressed with it. Good interface, fairly easy to use, uh, easy to read. Um, not much not to like, very intuitive and simple. This is your car guy. Please like and share the channel. If you like this uh, tool, go ahead and go order one.